Compared with other top male gods, Xiao Zan is very clear about his career plan, so far he has maintained the frequency of making one film and television work a year. The ancient puppet Jade Bone Remote starring Ren Min has been full of audience expectations before it was launched. The period drama The Sea in My Dreams starring him and Lee Chin has been officially completed, although the official release has not yet been released. Material, but the Reuters map on the internet is amazing enough. The Sea in the Dream tells the story of the ups and downs of a group of young people in Beijing in the 1970s. It shows the audience a microcosm of the lives of the next generation in the wave of the times. It is an extremely wonderful group portrait work. Xiao Zan plays the role of Xiao Chuncheng, a young master from Beijing, who has gone through the transformation from a boy in a large courtyard to a president of Duojin. Even wearing a simple white crew costume, Xiao Zan is still the most dazzling presence in the crowd. With the white short sleeves, his whole person is full of youthful feeling, and his sword eyebrows and star eyes are full of righteousness, and the whole person is more and more brilliant against the vermilion background behind him. The pink bouquet on the chest makes her eyes softer and softer, and it is quite romantic to see you in a bouquet and embrace the moon. When Xiao Zan doesn't laugh, he is a man of righteousness and integrity. When he laughs, he shows his signature rabbit teeth, and even his eyes are full of love. The extremely simple white short-sleeved sleeves perfectly highlighted the charm of a country-style youth on him. It was really a gentleman's smile, as gentle as Jade. I don't know if everyone has the same resonance, that is, Xiao Zan's condition at the finalization ceremony of the sea in my dreams is exceptionally good. Seeing him smile and his eyebrows are very contagious, which makes people vaguely dream back to 19 years. Period. You can see that he still laughs more than Hua Zhao in the killing of Reuters, as if everything is still the same as before, but everything is no longer what it used to be.